Well, you know, obviously day one, when I was walking around in the city, I was like, yo. Hey y'all, it's Chimney, I'm back. All right, so listen, it's been a couple of weeks since I've shaved my head bald and I wanted to come back and talk to y'all about what my experience has been like, how it's been as a new bald-headed woman as we shave our head again, this time to a number one, one eighth of an inch. So this was the level that I originally wanted to go at first time around. If you saw the video where I first shaved my head, you saw that I took it pretty short. You know, like I was happy with like the third level, took it to the second one, that was good, and that's roughly what this is, though obviously it's grown out a little bit. But this was actually where I wanted to get to, and so because, you know, I love feeling a little bit of fear, that good fear that comes with challenging yourself, I decided I'd go ahead and do it on camera for you all. As I talk about my reflection on being a bald-headed woman, so let's Let's go ahead and begin. Okay, I've got a mirror right here, so I'm just gonna hold it while I do this. All right, so now I'm a bald headed lady. What have we learned? So I was correct that I look good with a bald head. I knew I would, and I was right, which is very nice. People were very nice and very complimentary when they saw me. A lot of shock but nothing but like good energy and support, which was amazing. One thing I have noticed though, people who know you with hair, when they see you, they're like, whoa, oh my gosh, you look so great. And so you get that immediate rush of compliments and that was one of the reasons I did this is because I do love compliments and I love getting them constantly. And so that's been amazing. But then now as I've been meeting new people with my hair cut low, this is how they know me. So they don't give me compliments because they just think this is normal. So that is one of the trade-offs. People will just become to know you as a bald-headed lady and not realize that you went on a whole journey and whatnot and that they should be saying, oh my gosh, you look so amazing. You have such a great head shape for this. So that's unfortunate. To be clear, I still let them know. I still let them know, by the way, this is new. I used to have hair, doesn't this look great? And then I give them that space to give me the compliments. But at some point I'll probably just stop doing that as it becomes normal for me, you know. Also, well, you know, obviously day one, as I was walking around the city, I was like, yeah, I'm out here. I'm thinking people were noticing me and stuff, though obviously nobody really cares. And then I'd say within a week, you know, two weeks, you basically kind of just get used to it and you're just regular. But the people who haven't seen you yet are like, whoa, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I like get all amped up again. But like after I'd say two weeks, you're kind of just like, yeah, this is my life now. I'd also say about two weeks is about how long I could go before I had to shave it again. So this is actually my third time shaving my head since doing it the first time. One of the reasons I wanted short hair was because of the lack of maintenance. And of course, compared to doing your hair in braids or you know applying a wig or doing other stuff, it is definitely low maintenance, but it isn't no maintenance. Like you do still have to brush it. I actually just like brush it with hair grease and then put on my do-rag and that is how I style my bald head. So it's still very, very low maintenance. But yeah, every two weeks or so, you do need to go ahead and shave your entire head again. But the process of shaving your head feels great every time. Like it feels so powerful every time. It's such a way of showing the universe and showing yourself that you're taking ownership over your look, that you're confident in your look, that you know you can pull stuff off. And so I feel like just the activity, the ritual of shaving your head is very restorative. And you're giving your crown, you know, that crown chakra, all that love. So I do really appreciate that this is something that's a part of my lifestyle. And what's exciting is that, you know, it grows back so fast. I wasn't ready for it to grow back as fast as it does. And I'm like, dang, I really need to be doing this pretty regularly. And so I'm realizing I'll actually be able to probably start experimenting with style sooner than I thought just because of how fast it'll grow. I'm, you know, at some point probably gonna put some color in it, but also I can probably do like the low size and just like have the top have a little bit more curls at some point. Just stuff like that, because it's just gonna grow pretty quickly. Not only not as quickly as I thought, I was thinking within like a month I'd be able to get box braids again. And it's probably closer to like eight weeks before if I just wanted to like let it grow completely if I wanted to do like a set of box braids. I think overall, like I just really love it. I feel so cool. <laughs> like I feel cool, I look cool. One thing too, so I thought, oh I'm gonna have to buy like a whole new set of wardrobe, a whole new set of clothes to go with my bald head because it'll make me look shabby because I really be wearing stuff that's real old. But no, it's the opposite in fact, where actually like the hairstyle makes my clothes look cooler. <laughs> so I actually have been able to just wear the same old stuff I've basically always worn, which has been really nice. The biggest thing, of course, is showers. Like, y'all, yeah. so I experienced a real shower head. My shower head here, you know, the building is old, the water pressure is weak, which is fine. You know, I'm blessed regardless. I experienced a high pressure shower with a real shower head. Y'all, yeah, 
it was like getting a scalp massage. And that's when I realized like, y'all, men have been scamming us. Men have been scamming us this entire time. They literally start their day every morning with a scalp massage. That's how they start their day. No wonder they're walking around like that, talking to us like that, doing what they're doing. They start their day just pampered, like, oh, crown chakra just activated. It's nonsense, y'all. Also, one thing I've seen come up again and again is people being like, oh, I can never do that. I don't have the head shape to pull it off. Et cetera, et cetera. Men don't have to ask themselves if they have the head shape to pull off short hair. They just have the short hair, okay? So I don't understand why it is that we need to be like, do we have the head shape to pull it off? That's not how it works. We have the head shape we have, all right? And you're gonna love it. I'm gonna give you what I'm giving you, and you're gonna say thank you. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's something to keep in mind, ladies. Like, I really do think everyone at some point should just go through that emotional journey of shaving your own head, realizing how powerful and cool you look, and just like, you know, living that truth for a little bit. I do feel like there are a lot, I'm constantly now see all these photos of women who have shaved their head and it makes me so happy and it makes me feel like I'm a part of a really cool club which I also really like those are those are my main thoughts I strongly recommend it it's been super chill super fun I look really cool I haven't started wearing more makeup or anything like that I thought I would but I haven't like I haven't even I wanted to like buy some mascara but I was like I don't want to ever feel like I have to do something external to make myself feel good about walking around and that's the reason why in life I try not to wear a lot of makeup anyway because I don't want people to meet me and be like, oh my gosh, you're so gorgeous. And they see me without makeup and they're like, are you tired? Did you not get enough sleep? It's like, no, this is my face. This is my face, get used to it. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to not wear a lot of makeup as a bald-headed lady and, you know, count on the cheekbones and that good skin to pull me through, which is honestly, truly such a blessing. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to see more and I'll see y'all in the next one.